Hi everyone, hope you're all well. In today's video, we're gonna be, we're gonna be talking about Midjourney, which is an, another sort of AI based image generator. We'll talk about what it is, how to use it, and what you could use AI image generators for in general. So, what is Midjourney? Midjourney is an artificial intelligence program and service that takes the user's prompts and generates unique images. Their goal is to expand the imaginative powers of the human species. So, it's essentially another AI image generator. And an AI image generator essentially takes a text is a text image tool that was designed to make it easier for digital marketers and content creators to create images online. They do this by using a machine learning algorithm and they're able to generate realistic photos and illustrations based on a set of instructions. The way AI uh, text to image works and the way Midjourney works is using something called the diffusion model. So diffusion models are trained on hundreds and millions of images, each with a caption describing the image in words to essentially learn the relationship between the text and the images. Through the process, the network also learns to infer other conceptual information about the world, such as what colors or elements would make an image feel like it was created by a certain artist or a certain brand. After they've been trained, the models learn to take a text prompt provided by the user, create a low resolution image, and then gradually adding new details to turn it into a full image because it's now learned how to do it billions of times over. This process is repeated until the final high resolution image is produced. Diffusion models don't just modify existing images, they generate everything from scratch without referencing to any images that you might find on the internet. And this means that if you ask them to generate an image of a dog, they won't just find an image of a dog and then add details to it. They'll create the image of a dog from scratch based on their understanding of what a dog is. And this approach has a few benefits. It makes them more efficient to train. Images generated by diffusion model are more realistic and it makes it easier to control the generated image. For example, if you want the dog to be a specific color, you can just include that in your text prompt. So overall, text-to-image AI models have come a long way in recent years. With the advent of diffusion models, they're able to generate more realistic-looking images than ever before. With Midjourney's uh, AI tool, it's a smart program capable of translating your text prompts into an image in any style that you desire. Despite ha having never seen a picture of, say, for example, a cat riding a horse, um, the image generator can extrapolate from what it has learnt to render it for you. In the same way you could probably s sketch a drawing from what we know of cats and horses. In doing so, the images generated aren't copied from anywhere and they're completely unique to you. So with Midjourney, it can be a really fun program to kind of play around with and kind of see what you can do to kind of get started as well. The benefit of AI generated anything is endless. Uh, by with just a few uh, keystrokes, you can make images that look like they were shot by a professional photographer or create objects, objects and people that don't actually exist in real life. A ton of benefits can come from an AI image generator and some of them include increased productivity. So with an AI image generator, you can create stunning visuals in seconds without having to learn complex editing software. Um, and then you can have more control over your images, so you can easily adjust the textures, lighting and shadows to get the exact look that you want, and uniqueness as well, so every single image you generate is created from scratch, so you can be assured that being different is a uh, quality that you'll have with using the image text to image, image generators like Midjourney and limitless imagination. So you can use AI image generators to create imagery of anything in any style that you desire. As cliche as it signed, signs, your imagination is truly the only limit. Not to mention it can be really fun to just uh, go on an image, uh, AI image generator and just create as many images and art simply just for your own pr pleasure. Productivity aside, rendering random images can be a lot of fun. So like, even just to try it out, it's simply something that you that's worth doing. So to get started with Midjourney, what you want to do is go on to Midjourney's website. Um, and the way Midjourney works is you, you use it through the Discord platform. So you need to create an account on Discord and then join one of the Midjourney servers and then use the Midjourney bots to essentially uh, generate your image. It's important to note that as of right now, Midjourney have stopped doing their free trials. 
Um, so you will need to create an account and sign up to one of their plans if you want to keep using it. But even if you just wanted to sign up and see what other people have been asking the bots to draw um, or create, you can still do that even without an, an account. But the first thing you want to do is um, make sure that you have a Discord account can, uh, created. So to do that, you just want to go into discord.com and you want to click on register. Or if you already have a Discord account, then you can just uh, sign in. But you just want to create an account, you just type in your email, username, password, and your date of birth, and just click continue. Once you have everything done, then it will ask you to uh, verify your password, or verify your email account, and they'll just send you an email uh, to the email that you set here, and then it'll ask you to verify your account, basically. But once you have your account set up and verified, it'll look something like this. So you'll see sort of all your account details here, any kind of servers that you're a part of, they'll be uh, added in here and you can explore sort of public servers and just add different servers. And within that, you can then uh, join different communities um, and things like that. So what you want to do now is look for the mid journey uh, server. Another way you can do this, so you can either do this with the Discover page and you can see Midjourney is actually a featured community. The other way is if you go through Midjourney's uh, documentation, you can go onto the Get Started page and there should be a link to join Midjourney um, through their Quick Start Guide. So if you click into Quick Start Guide, it should tell you to uh, it'll get, ask you to go onto the Midjourney Discord. Um, what you might find though is when you click on this link, it might be broken, in which case all you need to do is uh, go back into the discovery section and look for the mid journey uh, dash look for the mid journey server but once you've joined the mid uh, the mid journey server um, you, all you need to do now uh, with mid journey discord all you need to do now is look for a server and you're looking for a server that uh, starts with the phrase newbies and just join one of these rooms and essentially uh, from there you can ask bots to uh, create an image for you using their AI based text to image generator. Um, so you can see even within this chat, say so if we click on this one here, you can see in this chat, there's already some people that have submitted in some prompts and the mid journey bot will then take that prompt and um, create an image out of it. And it's really cool. So even with, so this is all within the free version of this and all you need to do is just click into one of these rooms and you can, with the free version, you can view already existing images that people have asked, uh, that have asked already. Um, and then you can make edits as well. Um, if you wanted to do, type in your own prompt, then all you need to do is come down to this uh, typing section here and you want to do uh, backslash and you're looking for the imagine prompt. And then after that, you would just type in the name of your actual prompt, uh, whatever that is. And then just hit enter. So you'll see once you enter, uh, the first thing that it'll ask you to do is to check if you have a subscription um, added. So right now we don't have a subscription, so it's not going to actually generate that image. If you wanted to uh, have the bot to generate an image for you, what you want to do is click into this open subscription page uh, prompt and you want to click on yes. It'll take you to the subscription page uh, in a new tab. And you can purchase a subscription um, and they have different sort of plans uh, from yearly billing and monthly billing as well. It's slightly cheaper if you were to go for an annual billing, but you can, you do have the option for monthly billing as well. With each of the plans, um, you see you can get different uh, perks with it as well. So things like uh, the amount of credit top ups that you get, unlimited relaxed generations and how fast the generations are. and how many you're lim limited to as well. So with the basic one, you are limited to about 200 ge generations a month, meaning you can only generate about 200 photos every single month. With the standard and the pro plan, you'll get something called fast generations. So the fast generations or fast hours um, basically refer to how long it's gonna take to um, process your image. So uh, their image processing comes in two forms. There's fast and then there's relaxed. Fast tries to give you uh, result instantly, and it's their highest pr priority processing tier. It's a very, it's a little bit more expensive, but Relax puts you in a queue behind others based on how much you've used the system in Relax mode. The basic plan comes with about 200 uh, fast GPU minutes, standard with 15 fast GPU hours, and Pro with 30 GPU um, hours. And one R is roughly roughly 60 image generations or upscale commands, and roughly 200 image variation commands as well. 
These numbers are experimental though and can change at any time. Um, so yeah, you get a bit more obviously with the more expensive plans, but even with the most basic plans do, do have quite a few um, perks with it as well. Once you've selected a plan, you can then go back and the, the AI bots will essentially, the Discord bots will essentially uh, start building your image based on the prompt that you've given it. Using the Discord chat, you can see different images that people have um, asked for and what Midjourney bot has used uh, to do that. You can favorite things um, and you can make variations as well, again, depending on uh, what plan that you're on. And they can create really high quality images uh, that way as well. On the Mid Journey website themselves, they've got a showcase. They've got a community showcase here where you can see uh, different things that people have uh, already created using the, the image generator. Um, and they can also, if you hover over it, you can also see what prompt that they use to get this kind of style of image. Um, so you can see they're very kind of detailed prompts. Um, some prompts have uh, what kind of styles that they want it in, what kind of art style that they want it in. Um, some styles have it in like the view size and what kind of art style as well um, so you can see exactly like the more detailed that you have your prompt the more high quality your image is going to be the more unique your image is going to be um, there's loads of unique uh, images out there as well um, with the prompts you can type in some parameters uh, parameters like um, high definition the parameters are going to be um, aspect ratio, the quality, all of that you can type in as part of your prompt as well. If you go into the home for Midjourney um, and go into help and FAQ, you'll be taken to their uh, documents and you can see through their getting started and their user guide, um, they have essentially uh, how to use essentially the different command lists and the different settings and prescales as well. Um, so like what kind of version of uh, Midjourney that they want to use, what kind of style, uh, how many qualities, things like that. Um, and you can really kind of customize your prompt to how you want your image to look. And again, the more detailed your prompt is, uh, the better that your image will be, the more unique and the more high quality it will be as well. Um, so it's a really kind of cool tool to use. Um, Midjourney is one of those things that can be a really good creative outlet. Um, when it comes to applying these images in the real world, it's really good for things like content marketing. A good picture is worth a thousand words and AI generated images have the ability to turn a thousand words into a million, whether you're writing an article, building a web page, running an ad campaign, building up an instant library of creatives, um, or even for some social media posts um, using the AI image generated images can be a really good thing um, it's also really good for artists and designers you can inspire and feel creativity using the AI generated images to kind of springboard your ideas and kickstart your kind of creative creative process Midjourney's AI has learned from millions of images and text all over the web and has gained an understanding on how to read and create relevant pictures each time you ask the bot to generate an image, it doesn't copy or pull images from anywhere, but it considers the concepts that it already knows, and it creates new images from scratch every single time. And when it comes to the copyright on all these images, every generation is done from scratch, so you know that it doesn't pull uh, any images from anywhere. So while the service is quite unique, the more in-depth your prompts are, um, and the more details that you give when you're writing your prompts, the more unique it can be. If you're worried about someone copying your design, don't be. There's always a chance that someone will use a similar prompt. Um, that's why it's always better to be as detailed and as precise as possible. It's important to note that the images that you create are public domain, so you are free to use them, um, but you don't own the copyright, so they can be used by anyone for any purpose, including any commercial purposes as well. So you can feel free to use them for anything that you like as well. In terms of any restrictions, there are some restrictions on what art you can create. Um, it's always advisable to create content responsibly, depending on what um, 
platform that you're using. Some platforms like Hypotenuse will uh, censor not suitable for work type art. Um, so always just kind of be wary of that. But in general, you can pretty much create everything, ask the AI to create everything as well. The quality of some of Midjourney's images is why it's a favorite amongst many people. Um, it can be really good. It can create absolutely high quality and mind blowing results that you almost um, that you can use almost for everything as well. You can see even with the community showcases, there's loads of different images that people have been creating in so many different styles with different prompts and things like that. Um, so you so you know that it's a really good kind of quality kind of uh, AI based image generator. Um, software like Midjourney, Dali. Um, Hypotenuse AI are very high profile and they're packed with tons of great features. Um, there's also above uh, a bunch of alternatives as well that get the job done. Um, but AI in general is something that's um, really cool and this type of AI where you can sort of generate your own images, even if it's not something that might help with your business or anything like that, it's also something really good to kind of learn about, even just fun to kind of play around with to see what kind of images you can create and maybe use them for anything that you that you might want to as well. So definitely something worth checking out and looking into.